up, y'all? September 24th, E-Rom Sports. Steadily the metal. These pedigree better be better than being one of these injured quarterbacks. Oh, man. So we got Monday Night Football. My Steelers at the Buccaneers. So much to talk about. Week three of the NFL college football rankings. Week four. Uh, it was a good weekend. Some crazy upsets. I'm going to tell you right now. Steelers 31-26 tonight. I think Pittsburgh is going to be doing hip-hop. No Lev Bell. He might get traded. I think it's Jesse James, Juju, AB. Both teams are going to be, you know, passing the ball. Fitzmagic should be doing his thing. I'm going to say 31-26. The Steelers get it done. Big Ben gives you about 311, three touchdowns, an interception. Hopefully it's enough to win my fantasy league since I'm behind. Um, you know, listen, Baker Mayfield announced a starting quarterback today. We already talked about that last week with the Thursday Night Football. Congrats to the Cleveland Browns. I thought they'd win 23-20. It was 21-17. How about the Giants, man? I, I didn't know if they would be able to get it done. Deshaun Watson is now in a rough place. Um, yeah, it's, it's bad. But Eli woke up, got it done. Saquon, Ingram's hurt. You know, he might be out two to four weeks. Oh, just a mess. Drew Brees us. And look, first of all, Matt Ryan got busy. I think he gave up like got like 57 fantasy points. But just the stats alone, you see Matt Ryan was doing hip hop. The passing yards, Drew Brees got the touchdowns, rushing. And they just came back and got it done. Some mistakes. But Calvin Ridley, did, were you impressed? I was impressed. He ate. Um, the news of the day, Jimmy G, torn ACL out for the season. Uh, that was rough. And Patrick Mahomes, Kelsey got busy. I think that this guy is on a pace for the MVP, the most valuable poet on the MIC. He's really doing it. Very impressive, 3-0. Dolphins, Chiefs, and Rams are 3-0. Speaking of those Dolphins, the Raiders started off great, and then the defense happened. And in Miami, and Tannehill came back. Um, it's just interesting to see. Marshawn Lynch has been playing well. Raider Nation. They could be 0-4 because the Bears are coming. Oh, no, the Browns are coming into town with Baker Mayfield. So get get ready, folks. How about what the Buffalo Bills did in the upset of the weekend? I mean, put the smackdown on Minnesota. Who, who thought it would be a blowout like that? Josh Allen was leaping over Cavs doing his thing. Just a total team effort. And this is... The NFL, you cannot overlook a team. They did. Thursday night, they go to the LA, to the LA Rams. That's going to be rough. I'll give you my picks for that later in the week. Colts, I told you they played well, Andrew Luck, but Carson Wentz and the Eagles, they did enough. Pulled it out. Got it done. Um, the Eagles are still off. Thankfully, their defense is good. Colts made some mistakes, could have won this game, but the, the Eagles, the offense is definitely off. They miss Alshon Jeffrey. They probably should bring in Des Bryant. They have Aguilar, Mike Wallace is gone. And this one, the Skins, I said that they could pull the upset, but they actually did it. I mean, that was really impressive. Who thought that they would, you know, score so much against Green Bay? But this is the thing Alex Smith can do. He's very efficient. You know, you got Chris Thompson and Adrian Peterson just did hip hop. You know, he thought he was in a Vikings uniform dropping 120 plus yards against the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. They need help, the Packers, man. They definitely need help. Look, the Panthers all day, every day. You see Tyler Boyd got busy for the Bengals. Him and Andy Dalton, AJ Green's a little banged up. But without Joe Mixon, Giovanni did okay. But they could use, you know, some running back help. Who's going to trade for Le'Veon Bell? That's that's the question. Is it the Jets? Is it the Niners? Um, you know, Tennessee Titans. You know, Henry and Lewis are not looking good. But how about the Titans defense? Going into Jacksonville, locking down. I mean, starting with Blaine Gabbert. Had to bring in Mariota. But 9-6, a defensive battle in the AFC South, which you can see sometimes. And, um, you know, you just start to wonder... Who wants this division? I assume it's going to be Jacksonville, but if Tennessee gets healthy, can Mariota and the boys, even without Delaney Walker and Henry in and out of the lineup, can they pull it off? We, you know, we shall see. But the Jaguars got to wake up. Broncos are looking good until they saw the Ravens. Um, Case Keenum, listen, T Sizzle, the Ravens defense, Eric Weddle, they're very impressive. And um, 
you know, Alex Collins is doing his thing. They, they're showing that they can get the ball to, you know, John Brown and to Willie Sneed. And Joe Flacco's like, forget Lamar Jackson, I'm falling out. And then the Battle of L.A., the Rams. So, like I said, Rams, Dolphins, and Chiefs. Except for Lamar Jackson, four out of the five major quarterbacks. So we shall see next weekend what happens. The Rams are just too tough. Thursday night is going to be interesting, though, against the Vikings because it's going to be a battle. Minnesota's not going to play how they play. And golf is too much. Woods, Cup, Cook, Todd Gurley. Chargers need to get back there to get the players. They need both the... The Bears came back. Sam Bradford did nothing. He's asking for Rosen. Rosen finally comes in and throws the INC. Uh, so bad for Fitzgerald, man. He's going through a lot. This might be his last season. And to play on such a bad team. It's going to be hard. I think the Cardinals will be looking to win four games this year. They will be battling with the Bills. And I'll just be some number one pick. How about them Cowboys? Good for the Seahawks. The Griffin brothers, they get a win. Earl Thomas picks it off and then bows. You know, pay that man. You don't need to practice. Earl Thomas is just a bet, bet, veteran. How many veterans is out there peddling? And uh, Russell Wilson, man, he still needs offensive line help, but he is definitely a stud. Carson and Penny are starting to run the ball for Seattle. Let's see if they can continue to impress. And then who saw this coming? I mean, yeah, I knew Patricia would know, you know, he would know Brady and Belichick and know what they're going to do. But I thought that means, okay, 22 20. They would win. So you still got the same top four. Ohio State dominates LSU, five. Uh, Oklahoma barely got by Army. There's Stanford looking good. No Dame. No Dame. Check out that Prince microphone or piano, 1983, came out. Uh, Eminem killing Machine Gun Kelly. You know, a little bit of hip-hop in the music. Fuse it, choose it, abuse it. Um, yeah, Penn State, Auburn, you know. Washington, man, they almost they almost gave it up to um, to ASU. I, I predicted it; it just didn't work out. But ASU surely tried. West Virginia. It's an interesting, you know. Michigan looked good. Wisconsin bounced back against Iowa, the top twenty-five, and Kentucky four and zero, big win over Mississippi State. Uh, Texas, I told you they beat TCU. Oregon didn't drop too far. BCU beat YU stays. How about Duke? Is this college basketball? <laughs> Duke is in there, folks. Cal. Um, <clears throat> I think that, um, you know, Fitzgerald and, and Mississippi State, they were surprised and tried to take that out. College football is going to be wide open this year except for Bama. I think everybody knows it's Alabama's to win and lose and do whatever else they want. So we'll see how that all plays out. And um, get ready. We'll be talking some NBA. But again, the Steelers tonight, 31 to 26. Here we go, Pittsburgh. Here we go. 
Check out the Steelers six Berg. So absurd. Too much controversy. Shouldn't kick Le'Veon to the curb. Need to sign him. Keep him on. Because he's a wide receiver too. And he got it going on. Yo, check the flow. How I go? Of course, understand. It's this Pittsburgh flow. I'm still a Steeler fan. I am a Steeler man. But I ain't like how you're treating Le'Veon, my man. Kaepernick needs to get a job. You slobs. NFL owners, you're acting like you rob people of their freedoms and choice. It ain't right, it ain't righteous or moist. Yeah, so a lot of going on in the world, but we're in, we're out, without a doubt. You can please, you run sports in the building, yo. Peace. <laughs>